I got my quads clenched right now. Hey, it's Dan with Moyer and Sons, and today we're bringing this very special Between Two Boxes. My guest today is Frederick from Frederick. Thanks for, I'm sorry, thanks for having me on today. It's definitely your pleasure. Uh, so Frederick, from Frederick, Yes. Went to Frederick. Yes. Um, grew up in Frederick. Yes. What's your dad's name? Frederick. Real original. What's your name? Dan. Dad's name? So let's talk a little bit more about Frederick here. Uh, so Frederick grew up in Frederick, but more importantly went to Frederick High School, because that's really confusing for everybody involved. How did you deal with that? A lot of jokes in high school. Um, you're not the first one to make this, so I know you think you're clever right now, trying to poke fun at your first guest on your first show ever, but um, I'll just let you know, you're not the first. But I will be the best, and that's all that matters. Now with that, Frederick left Frederick. They actually let him leave the city borders. At that point in time, he went to college. Was that in Frederick? No. Oh, lucky us. I left to go to Baltimore and went to Towson University. Um, Frederick is a different place now than it was when I left. Well, how was Frederick? When I remember Frederick 15 years ago, Frederick was Old Town. Bush Wallace, Terrace, Ka Terrace Lanes, Terrace Lanes, these places that you, oh, Exhale, oh, don't forget about Exhale, you could be 18 and get an Exhale, no rules to follow you there. You did not have to be 18. So, Frederick, why would you ever leave Frederick and leave Exhale, go to a wonderful place like Towson, but when you come back, what had changed? Uh, Frederick was a very different place 15 years ago. Uh, the downtown scene was not the same. Uh, right now they have a thriving uh, restaurant community, uh, brewery community. Carroll Creek is absolutely gorgeous. They've really done an excellent job revitalizing that whole downtown area and has done a great job not only bringing back people who grew up here and may have moved away, but also attracting new residents to the city. Believe that because it's Frederick from Frederick. Now, as we kind of go through, I love Frederick. I actually lived there for eight years. Why should people move to Frederick now? Well, on top of everything that I uh, described about the thriving downtown area, Frederick's also conveniently located in between Baltimore and DC. Uh, you can hop on 270 or 70 very conveniently. Um, we also have much lower pricing than uh, our neighbor Montgomery County, which used to be the main hub to DC and to Bethesda, and now people are constantly moving more north into the Frederick area. So there's much more affordable housing than Montgomery County, um, not only with the downtown district, but there's also a thriving arts district. Um, so it's not just Bushwallas and Old Town anymore? No, no, it's not just that. Like I said uh, earlier about the brewery uh, coming, there's uh, lots of breweries downtown, many Millennials and Gen Zers have very much enjoyed the craft beer. Everyone that looks like me, every single person looks just like me. I said beer, not beard. <laughs> um, no, but um, you have a beard so, too. What are you talking about? Yeah, mine's nicer. <laughs> Yours is longer. That doesn't make it better. Size matters. So Frederick from Frederick, also from Remax. It would have been funnier if it had been like Frederick from Frederick and Frederick doing Frederick doing Frederick things. But it's with Remax. What brought you into real estate, becoming one of uh, Frederick's experts? Well, HGTV looked fun, right? No, and, and honestly, uh, people, he, looked, he looks like a property brother. People kept asking me if I was a third property brother. So I was sick of confusing people, and I figured I should just give the people what they want. If they want me to sell them a house, then I'm going to sell them a house. I think you have a face for radio. I've been told that too. Mm. You have a beard for radio. That's just hurtful. 